Okay. Okay. Hello, everybody. It's mailbag time. It is uh, Saturday. My watch says it's Saturday, November 18th, I guess. Ooh, uh, I got to get some mail out after mailbag. Okay. Uh, so there we are. And um, okay. Uh, news, 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 news. I think there was probably a lot of news this week. Let's see if I can remember what uh, I have to mention that we haven't mentioned since the last mailbag. I think that would be, um, we got, um, let's see. Till got an exam because she has had bad poops for a very long time. Um, now, the funny thing is that, uh, hi Till, right before the exam, we started her on a new antibiotic uh, and it seems like the bad poops have gone away. But I took her to the exam anyway. It was a, It's an ultrasound and our doctor calls in a specialist to do like these intense GI ultrasounds. And I didn't want to cancel that at the last minute for a specialist. Plus you never know if it's gonna turn something up. And in fact, it did. Um, she uh, turns out to have uh, like a like a thickened lining of the GI tract. That's one of those things. Like every single time I've done had somebody do either a, an X-ray or an ultrasound for GI, they always find that it's not really a specific symptom. It just kind of means something's irritated in the GI tract. So. Um, our plan is to continue with the antibiotic for a few more days and then take her off of it and see what happens. If she's off the antibiotic and she still has good poops, then fine, we're, we're, gonna, we're done. Uh, I think, we'll, I'll follow up with the doc to make sure. Um, but if she, we take it off and she goes back to having bad poop, then uh, we're gonna have to investigate a lot further, I think. So uh, we'll see. I think she's fine though, I really do. I, I think she's just great. Uh, she's been feeling much better. Oh, speaking of much better, uh, Teaspoon has been feeling much better too. We took him in. Now, um, we took him in and he has some elevated kidney numbers, but it turns out that that is just uh, something you expect from his heart condition. So it's sort of like a follow on to that because the kidneys don't get enough blood to do what they need to do. So that's all it is. And it's not major either. Um, all the doctors have said we don't have to do anything about it right now. So that's all it is for a little teaspoon. But the really cool thing is, you know, Teaspoon has had poop problems of his own uh, since pretty much the day he was born. Uh, I have learned now, uh, thanks to him, how to give cats enemas, and I've done it many times. Um, but uh, we've been feeding him straight chicken, and that works really well, pretty well. And then uh, just a few days ago, you know, he doesn't really like my chicken, and DJ just can't, like, she just can't leave it there until he's hungry enough to eat it. She, she really feels for him. So uh, we tried putting the uh, applause makes a supplement, uh, like a canned food. It, it, they, if you look at, you're gonna look for food, but if you read the label really carefully, they'll be like, this is not a complete food, it's just a supplement. It's like the, one of their, it's got like four ingredients. It's just tuna, seaweed, rice, and then broth. They're like, that's it, that's everything. So uh, I feel really safe feeding it to him. And uh, I, Somebody had sent it in for him. I mean, I, I don't think I bought it. Um, I think it was a, a mailbag thing that someone sent specifically for him. And well, we just we decided to try it. And it turns out he's nuts for it. And then we looked online, and it turns out that particular food with the seaweed in it has a reputation of being something that gets even the pickiest cats to eat. So that's really cool. Um, the downside is it smells awful. It really smells bad. <laughs> But uh, we've started now mixing it with the chicken, so we're sure that he gets all the proteins and stuff from both the tuna and the chicken. He's got the seaweed in there, and then we put in a little bit of an extra supplement just in case. But they, cats really get everything they need from, from those sources, I think, already. Like, uh, you know, a lot of people say cats can't produce their own taurine, so they need that from the environment. But they're going to get plenty of that from the chicken and fish. So uh, the supplement, probably not necessary after we've got the, the applause food and the chicken that I make put together in there already. But anyway... The point is, though, since he's been on this new diet of the, the chicken and the fish mixed together, he's even better. His colon is, it's the first time I've ever felt it feel normal, you know, like a, like a normal cat. So even when he's at his best, it's, it's always still constipated, just not much. So this is, something is working right now, and I hope it stays that way for him. Uh, it's just great. And DJ's even noticed, like, he's happier, too. Like, he's, we see him running around and playing a lot more the last couple days. So fingers crossed that keeps up for him. It really feels nice to see him uh, being so active. I don't think there was any uh, other news except for just the regular adoption stuff, which is very important, I have to say. Um, so everybody uh, has their adopters except for the two mom cats, Till and Serenity. They're, they're both really more kittens, but yeah. Um, and then um, the two Tabby sisters, Drizzle and Sprout. Uh, I think that's it. I think everybody else now is accounted for. All four of the smalls, 
um, raindrop. So uh, it's looking pretty good. And so I've, I've put in a call for a new mom cat to come. I don't know when that will happen. Um, when it comes to the adoptions, I really don't want to, you know, press it too much. Um, it'll happen when it happens, and I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I, I think I need somebody to help save me from these cats <laughs> in a way. I mean, not really. I'm joking, but um, the the older kittens, especially, and this many kittens that are uh, starting to get big, we, we don't normally have them in when they get quite this big. So uh, it's a lot. It's a lot of poop. It's a lot of food, and it's especially like galloping and tearing things down. We have uh, these really nice blinds that I bought for the bedroom when we moved in. Miracle of miracles, they have been in good condition for the last four years. That all ended. Raindrop, uh, I think, might have contributed a little bit, but surprisingly, DJ says it was Welly that did most of the destruction. They are shredded. Uh, so um, I have a whole new sympathy for the adopters because I think cats probably reach their like peak destructive stage just between six months and one year. And normally by that point they're out the door, so I don't have to worry about the peak destructiveness. Uh, not that we don't still see plenty of it. Uh, so yeah, um, whew, uh, won't someone rid me of these meddlesome cats? <laughs> well, that's probably a bad quote to use, but whatever. Okay, uh, let's do some mail, all right? I think I've talked enough about that and we'll probably find other stuff to talk about while we go. Um, let me take one peek on Discord, though, to make sure I'm not just, like, talking to myself and um, that everything is, is going somewhere. Plus, we have a stack of letters in here somewhere to start with. I just don't know where I have put them. Okay, let's see. Do, 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 do. I know there are letters here. And besides the one you just saw me move. Oh, there they are. Okay. Okie dokie. Now, let's just check in on everything real quick, and we can start on those. Hang on here. So, uh, I got back into working out yesterday. It's really good for me. It's uh, probably the best thing I've done for myself in a long time, and it's uh, it's just one of those things that it's so hard to get started, and I don't... I don't really try to trouble myself about it. I just, I know that's how people work. So uh, it's another one of those things in due time. And that came up yesterday somehow and it felt great. Uh, and I did it again this morning and it felt great. So uh, that's fantastic. I think tomorrow I'm probably going to be feeling it a little bit, but I still got to keep with it. Uh, if I, if I know it's good for me, it just makes all the difference. Uh, so, all right. Um, I checked in. It looked like everybody was talking. Nobody's saying everything's failing. So let's move on here and get out a letter opener, perhaps. <laughs> wow, so many options. <laughs> okay, look at that. All right. Hi, Teaspoon. We were just talking about you, buddy. How much better you feel? Feeling good here? Let me check your colon while you're sitting right here. Come here, buddy. Let's just see if it's still good. Oh, man, you just feel like a regular cat back there now. I don't feel a thing. Oh, buddy, that's great. That is great. Okay. Somebody smells a little weird, though. Is that you? Hmm. That's a strange one. All right, I don't know what that was, but let's uh, let's go here. Let's see. Safe to read on camera. Oh, oh, there's a donation in here too. Cash, cash money. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. I know uh, the cats also appreciate that. That's gonna. Um, they're they're definitely. <laughs> We, we take all that, you know, like, and we keep it for things like teaspoon surgery and stuff. So it's, it's always helpful. Uh, teaspoon uh, really appreciates it. So look at this. This is a, a tear drop, and it is also appears to be a story. So let's, uh, let's take a look here. It says, uh, there was a teardrop who, of course, wept. Okay. She was lonely. One Saturday, she found Kitten Academy mailbag. Aw. She watched and did not feel lonely. She turned upside down. I see what you did there. She opened and was changed into a heart. 
That is adorable. Well, thank you, uh, Londa. That is so beautiful. And this, um, the, the, I know you've just used like a simple couple of brush strokes on each of these pages, but um, I suspect you're an artist because the colors and the, the placement, uh, this is just, it's just perfect. It's so, uh, it, it, it really is perfect. That's fantastic. It's beautiful. Londa, thank you very much. That's just so cute, isn't it? What a clever little thing. Hmm. All right. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Uh, that's fantastic. All right. Uh, Londa, thank you so much. All right, let's put the envelope over here, but let's keep this uh, someplace. All right. Fantastic. Thank you so much. This has four little kittens wearing sunglasses on the back of it. Here we go. And it says, birthdays are like cats. Aha. The more you have, the more likely it is your house will smell funny. <laughs> yeah. Hope it's Meowvelous. All right, good. Uh, that's cute. This is a pop-up, and there are so many cats sitting around inside this house. They're actual photographs of cats, but they've been photoshopped into a drawing of a, a living room. And it's a pop-up, and there's cats even hanging from the, the fan. There's uh, an Ari flying through the air. I think he just fell off of the fan. Uh, and uh, an orange cat that also probably is doing that. Wow, that is, there's a lot going on. We have Maggie, Eddie, Logan, Ari, and Custard all in the picture too. So this is super cute. Thank you very much for the birthday wishes. Um, uh, thank you. Um, who is this from though? Is there a... Wait a minute. Maggie, hope it's Meowvelous. Yes, okay. There doesn't seem to be uh, um, any credit on here, though. Oh, I'm holding this in my hand. Ha ha. Whew. All right. I'm all here. Uh, hello, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and all the furry butts, especially Eddie Butt. Hope your birthday was awesome. I couldn't pass this perfect card up once I saw it. I thought it was so great. Hope the furry butts didn't give you too many unexpected gifts and you got to relax a little and hang out with DJ. I really love DJ's Christmas room. Please give green-eyed Eddie but a few extra treats and pets for us. Uh, Jess and Diane from PA, thank you very much for the birthday wishes. I don't know where Eddie is right now, but I, I saw him a few times this morning actually um, getting snuggled by the kittens. And I'm surprised that he allows that, but like the balloons goes right up to him and starts rubbing on him and he doesn't immediately run away. It's really sweet. So uh, when I do see him, I'll give him another pet for you though. Um, thank you so much for the card. Okay, this appears to be another birthday card. It is addressed from Mayhem and Bamboozle to Best Shiny Butler Ever. And on the front we have cupcakes with sparkles and we have a pineapple. Uh, we've got balloons and a little birthday um, seal on the back, I will say. And then some coffee cups and it says cheers. So very personal. <laughs> I, don't, I doubt... I don't think you guys can see this from any angle, but, but Ari's bed is right directly under the camera. And he is in there like kneading and kind of having a good time right now. All right, uh, here's your birthday card. Look at that. That's so cute. Here's the inside. I love it. I love this. I love it. It's just here's your birthday card. And uh, here's the inside. That's it. It's the plane on the inside too, but uh, they've written in it. So let's see what it says. It says, to an amazing cat dad, happy Happy birthday, love and spoogles. K bless. Thank you. Sorry it's a little late. The girls have been pestering me to get a card to send. I let them pick it out. P.S. Daisy sends her love to Eddie. Aw. K bless. Thank you so much. And hi, Mr. A. We heard it was your birthday. That is so cool. Did you also turn one just like we did? <laughs> did you also get lots of extra churu just like we did? We sure hope so. Guess what? We got to go on a big adventure. Our mom went on a trip, and the nice lady that usually comes to stay with us couldn't, so our mom said she would board us at the vet, whatever that means. We were nervous about the word vet, but when we got there, uh, we went to a different area, a big room with a sign that said the inn at Affectionately Cats, and it was a fancy hotel. I'm a little distracted by Ari uh, playing with one of the tabbies here. Which tabby is that? Mm -mm -mm. I think you see that in the corner, right? Yeah, you can see that. I can't tell which one it is, though, because I can't see the... Oh, I can tell from the pause. That's Sprout. Okay. So, um... All right, where were we? 
A big room with a sign that said the Inn at Affectionately Cats, and it was a fancy hotel. We got to stay in our own condo with several levels, and our big sister Daisy got her own. When our mom came to pick us up, we heard the person tell her how good we were. We had fun there, but it sure was nice to be back home. Part of our mom's trip was to go visit the school she went to for something called homecoming. Does K.A. have that? We think it would be fun. Her school is all the way down in a place called Philadelphia. It doesn't sound nearly as good as K.A., but she did say it's the same school where Dr. Katz went to vet school. So that's neat. That is neat. We watched you put up the Christmas tree, and it looks really great. We asked if we could put up one here now, but our mom said we have to wait until December. So silly. Say hi to DJ for us. We misses her. Love, Mayhem, and Bamboozle. P.S. Bam here. I let Mayhem write the letter in exchange for getting first go with the P16 next time it wakes up. She did okay, but I could have done better, I bet. Maybe next time. <laughs> that is adorable. Okay, bless. Thank you so much for that. Uh, I hope everybody enjoyed that as much as I did. Okay, so... That brings us to, uh, well, I guess, I guess we've got an intermediate letter here somewhere. It's not quite a letter, not quite a parcel. So let's see what this one is. It's got little bumblebees on the label here. It looks like a cat toy. Okay, to read on stream. Ooh, cat lady letterhead. Mr. A and Dr. DJ, in honor of our sweet brother Spot, who crossed the Rainbow Bridge this week, we wanted to send his favorite flat mouse for a new generation to enjoy. Please deploy immediately. We can't wait to see the kittens playing with it. Thanks so much for all you do. We love you, Tumby and Pumpkin and uh, Melinda the human. So thank you so much. How cute is that? Aw. Um, I was just saying last week how long it's been since we've seen a, a flat mouse at all. Do, do they still make these? They must. I'm sure they do, right? Um, does anybody want to try it, though? Do you want to try a flat mouse, buddy? Here, come here. Come here, buddy. Come here. Which one are you? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Uh, you look like a quid to me because your ear fur is sticking so far out. Okay. All right. That's super adorable, and, uh, and I'm sorry for your loss. Okay. Hi, DJ. We're doing mailbag in here. Okay. <laughs> Are you home now for the day? Like, you don't have other stuff scheduled, I mean. Yeah. Cool. You look good. The jacket's cute. Uh, this is from Mishi60. And what do we have in here? Mishi 60, I'm sure there won't be a, a note. I should have looked a little more carefully, though. There is not a note. Okay, good. I mean, good. <laughs> All right. It says, uh, it is a... Well, there's only one word on the front, entire front of this that I can read, and it's the word throw. I don't think that's a direction, though, so we're going to open it instead. Um, All right. It's uh, vacuumed in here, and it must be a blanket, but I think I'm curious, and you probably are, to know what it's printed on it. So, let's see here. Mishi60 has sent us... Whew. Oh, look at all these little black cats. This is a great blanket, and it's especially a great blanket, I think, for the stream, because uh, it's big and bold, and uh, actually... <laughs> It reminds me of that sign that we just put over our toilet that has the black kittens on it looking and going, are you pooping? Which I know is a very classy. I don't know if I've told you guys that, and DJ probably wouldn't want me to. She's the one who put it there. She thought the sign was so funny. Uh, she found a frame. She actually took some other stuff out of a frame and put it in there and then hung it right above our bathroom, uh, you know. Uh, so that's cute. And the blanket uh, does look a lot like that because it's all these little black kittens sort of peeking out uh, exactly like that. So that's adorable. I don't know if you sent it for a particular purpose. You know how to get in touch with me and let me know. Otherwise, I think it's just going to be good to have around here and to, to use because, it, uh, you know, it's big, it's bold, the, the cats are stylized, and uh, it'll be perfect on stream. So thank you so much for that. Uh, I don't know where to put everything. I did not plan this very well. <laughs> Let's see here. This is a very nice bag, but we have so many little bags like this. Um, and I don't want to be a hoarder, so we're just going to use that for the garbage and probably toss it. 
Um, I need to get a better knife than this. Now that we're into the package part of the show, here we go. This is addressed to Kitten Academy. All right. Ooh. Oh, I think this is more uh, Lisa for kittens. Look at that. It's more P16s, and I think we had some P16s. Oh, these are so fun. That were pending uh, last week. Let's see. Well, the only note says, enjoy your gift. And um, I don't want to be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that we can credit Lisa for kittens for these and put them along with the other ones that we got last week and then distribute them evenly for endowments. I'll tell you, it's funny that these uh, P16 now, the toy has been mentioned twice already. <laughs> Uh, nobody's paying me for that, and I don't think that uh, you know they're manipulating things. But I will say it's a great cat toy. Now, in full disclosure, I have to say I haven't had a chance to examine ours yet, but it keeps falling apart. Uh, however, it's been working great for well over a year, so even if it is dead now, I still think we got a great deal out of it. And the cats love them. They're just they're fun. They're easy. You don't have to do anything but hit the button and put them down, and they will go for a couple days. Uh, you know, keep the cats entertained. So um, definitely great. Thank you so much. Probably Lisa for kittens. Who knows? Okay. This is interesting. Cut on dotted line. Oh, I see. Is from the Magnolia Legal Defense Team. Well, I do appreciate the. Uh, the precise directions though. Dotted line, here we go. It's nice. I don't have to worry about whether I'm doing it right. What's Drizzo doing? Oh. Oh. All right. Yeah, why not? Uh oh. Maybe you should move it. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, I think that you've made this extra tricky because I've followed all the directions. Oh, 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 look at that, the dotted lines, aha. So I can follow directions, but I'm apparently not very observant. <laughs> all right, there we go. Now we got it, look at that. And the note comes right out, perfectly packaged. And it says, greetings, Dr. DJ and Mr. A. Happy Mailbag Day. As you may already know, the Magnolia Legal Defense Team referred to herein as MLDT, was formed to combat the many slanderous and libelous accusations made against our client, the lovely floof mistress, Magnolia. After many meetings and brainstorming sessions with our contracted designer, Jamestown, we became the proud recipients of this lovely logo featuring you and our beautiful client. We hope that this mug will serve as a reminder to dear Magnolia that she's expected to pay her invoices in a timely manner. We also encourage any current or potential team members, uh, whether vocal or working in the background, to show their MLDT allegiance. Uh, thank you, as always, for everything you do. <laughs> this is great. It's a little hard to show on stream, but so we, we have the Magnolia running with bread sticker on our fridge. It's fantastic. I love the Maggie running with bread sticker. This is that. It's the exact same image, but you've added in me chasing her wearing my signature outfit, mismatched socks, and a pineapple Hawaiian shirt uh, from the waist down. I love it. Look at that. Magnolia legal defense team. And I'm chasing right behind her, and the legs are going full speed. It is fantastic. So uh, thank you, as always, for everything you do for Magnolia's Clowder and the interloping mom cats, non-moms, and kittens. Sincerely, the Magnolia legal defense team. P.S. Please let, let Till and Drizzle know that while Magnolia may have an unconventional teaching style, there's proof that the lessons are effective and better appreciated once they're in their forever homes. <laughs> That's fantastic. Thank you so much, Jamestown. Uh, oh, look at that. I didn't even realize that you had gone uh, like online with this. This is fantastic. I love your, your sort of whimsical art style. It's fantastic. So this is byjamestown.com. And uh, there's the, the it's a business card. That's perfect. So by Jamestown.com. That's uh, that's wonderful. Wow. Thank you so much. It, that it's it's fantastic. All right. Put that right there. Great. Okay. Um, well, I guess we keep rolling. 
Oh, uh, this one had some complicated directions, I think, because... Is this this one? Mr. A, you were only cutting through one sheet of paper, so go gently. Yes, okay. Um, but there was also this one matching that says, Stop, did you remember instructions on box one? So I'm guessing this is box two. Oh, it says, it says box one here. Okay, good. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's see. Cut gently. All right. I can do that. I hope. Oh, all right. Most of the way. Good, good, good. Okay, there is a box here, though, so we can do that. Fantastic. No fancy knife guard here. I don't know. This looks like a fancy knife guard to me, too. Uh, any knife guard is fancy. The note... Fantastic. Wow. Hello, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Hope you are both well and looking forward to opening your Christmas presents on Christmas Day. I've been under the weather lately and having several blood tests at the vampire clinic. By the time you get this note, I should know what's wrong with this getting older body. Tip, do not get old. Boy, are you right about that. Uh, box one contains the biscuits and chocolates that were too heavy for the previous package. Well, thank goodness they came through. That's all I'm saying. Ooh. Oh, this is fun. Okay. Good thing I started working out again. <laughs> I'm going to have to earn these. Um, so we have the Tunox or Tunox. I, I never found out. The Caramel Wafer Biscuits. These are delicious. Um, they're exactly as described. We have Snickers Bars. Uh, those are fantastic treats frozen. And we have a Bounty Bar and a... What is this one? So Snickers I'm very familiar with, but the other two are Bounty and Lion Coconut. Those are not ones that are very familiar. I saw a Bounty Bar in a vending machine. So the, oh, I, I remember this because I, at the time I had never seen it before. It's where I first heard of it and learned about it as a candy. So I saw this in a vending machine in... Uh, 1994 or five. And that's the only time I've ever seen one in the United States of America. Uh, it was a vending machine, by the way, that was in the back stashed away break room in a factory warehouse that I was helping do inventory at. So oh, in a very small town, like uh, two hours from Chicago in the middle of Illinois. So... That was really, all of that is super weird. Um, and then we have Lion Coconut, which uh, I don't think I've ever seen here, but I, I know we've gotten some of those in mailbags before. Those are awesome. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we have Oreos, the fancy packaging and the texture. Make me believe they are chocolate covered Oreos. One of my favorite things. Not good for me though. And you've sent two of those. Ooh, nope. More than two. Look at that. Wow. Where do these come from? I've never seen these packages for the chocolate-covered Oreos. Why would you only put two in there? It's not like you're going to stop at two. Uh, and then we have Paterson's Shortbread Fingers. I'm going with the uh, Paterson's just because why not? So uh, thank you so much. These are fantastic. And I am going to enjoy all of this. Maybe a little help from DJ. I bet she would like the Bounty and the Lion Bar. Um, so... And then I think we have box number two contains, it's right here, Christmas goodies. Okay, hang on. Uh, let's open it up and follow those directions. Okay. Whoa. Oh my goodness. This is Christmas goodies for people. Um, so Christmas goodies, my last bar of chocolate that I owe to you to enjoy it. I'm sorry, that I give to you to enjoy it? You better enjoy it? And you better enjoy it. I don't know if this is O or give, but it has this, it's got a G. It's definitely give. Okay. My last bar of chocolate that I give to you to enjoy, and you better enjoy it. Uh, and orange ping pong balls to deploy for teaspoon. Oh. And then all the chocolate I spend on over the year will be donated to my local rescue center. Aw, in memory of Bill and several crocheted blankets. You're just a, a wonderful, sweet person. Thank you so much for that. Uh, Charlie, uh, I, right? That's, I mean, this, yeah. Oh, on the back, we got this. Oh, there's some more on the back. I missed that. Okay. Uh, well, take care and stay safe, Charlie. Yes, indeed. Purrs and meows from Kevin and Weirdo. Okay, good. Um, so, all right. Um, no, okay, we can dig into this, right? We're good. This is a mini top iced Christmas cake. 
Huh. The icing on top is adorable. It's got a little uh, mistletoe sprig with a, you, know, you can see right there in the middle, and then it's just white. And then the rest of it is apparently some kind of Christmas cake. Best before, 31st of January, 2024. Store in a cool, dry place. Well, Jet Academy is at least cool. It hasn't been dry in New England for quite a while. Uh, we have one of those uh, Break Apart Orange Chocolate Spheres, Terry's Chocolate Orange. These are great. Uh, like orange and chocolate, great together. Most fruits and uh, chocolate, most any. What am I talking about? Okay. Uh, we have Biscoff with chocolate on them. Oh, these are the ones that have chocolate on them. That is fantastic as well. So good. We have a Christmas pudding um, matured for six months for a rich, indulgent flavor. Serves one. Wow, uh, that's awesome. This one's going to last two Christmases, and that's good because I do believe I have at least one from last Christmas still in the cabinet to eat. They're good, though. I'm surprised how good these little mini uh, Christmas puddings are. We have uh, mini snowballs chocolate bar. Now, that's um, this is going to be interesting. So it's Cadbury chocolate, and then the little uh, Cadbury snowballs that I am crazy about inside the chocolate bar. Hmm. That's uh, two great things together, so we'll see. Wow, finally we have Biscoff, uh, like the Oreo style, like the cookie um, with the Biscoff in the middle kind. Those are also fantastic. And then as you say, look at all that orange ping pong balls for our little teaspoon. And I bet he does like a ball even when it's not in the ball track, but I, I know he also likes them in the ball track. So I bet we could take um, uh, any of the ball tracks and, and put these in, or one of the towers that we've lost some balls in, or just throw them out for him. I bet he'll get a kick out of them, but he's not here right now. Is he? he probably went upstairs with DJ, so we'll make sure he gets those. Thank you very much for that, too. All right, um, we need to keep rolling, but I got to get up for just a second because I didn't bring anything to sit on, and uh, I feel like that was a mistake, so... And while I walk over there to grab my chair, I am going to check to make sure everything's still going well. All right, I think I hit the mic with my chin. Sorry about that if it made a bunch of noise. Oop. <clears throat> what uh, what got on this chair? Oh, maybe I was using it outside last time I used it, huh? Or something. Oh, maybe it's catnip. All right, we don't care. It could be anything. It's fine. All right. Ah, oh, that's a little nicer. Yeah, okay. All right. Oof. Okay. Uh, I think we're all good. So... Let's see what's next. Good. I need to find a place to put all this. I mean, besides just like in my belly. Here, I think we can add it to this box with the other treats, right? And we'll just leave your note in there. That way, as I'm eating it, I'll know who to curse. I mean, blame. <laughs> I mean, thank. Oh my goodness, vocabulary. All right. Um, let's see. This has got all the Christmas uh, decoration on it. Oh, and it's from Madam Amy Lotta, it says. Or is it Lotta? I don't know. Uh, Madam Amy, Ooh, uh, that's great. I can see the, as soon as I open it what we got here. It says, okay to read on stream. Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, my vacation in New York, Long Island comes to an end. And when you read this, I am back in Berlin. Uh, let's see. Oh, Germany, I think is what she added there. Uh, being here gives me another opportunity to send you this little package to wishing you an early happy Thanksgiving, Merry Christmas, and a happy new year. I want to thank you so much again for having me and my ninja bodyguards, aka drivers and friends at KA. It was, I uh, am a long time, wait, um, let's see, it is, oh I see, it was slash is a long time memory and I will never forget this. I couldn't imagine how tiny the kittens really are. Even the faculty were little cats. Every cat is so special. Holding Teaspoon was so amazing. He is such a sweetheart, a little Academy star. The gifts in the package are for the cats and kitten. I forgot Marion's little orange pendant. The little tea bags are for Teaspoon. I think he would love to play with them soon or now. 
The tunnel can be used how it fits, same with the magnet toy. The jingle balls are for the faculty. I named every one. The two pickles are for Till, and the Santa plus candy cane is for Serenity. I hope they will find an adopter soon. Thank you again for everything. Stay safe and healthy. Madam Amy Lotta. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah, I, I don't know um, uh, if, if everybody's watching. She got an opportunity to stop by, and I know it's, it's unusual um, for us to have people <laughs> come by here at all. Uh, but last year, I had wanted to invite her uh, during her trip to the United States, and things just weren't working too well last year. So I felt uh, an extra amount of sort of like, oh, I got to make up for that this year. So uh, some of you saw when she uh, was here, and it was really cute. And I do I do know, I, I owe you, um, you had asked if I received the other package that you either shipped from, I think you shipped, well, you're still in the United States with the uh, the really cool mermaid tail in it. Uh, we did, and it is so cool. I immediately set it aside because I want to, I don't know, take pictures or something with it. It is really pretty. Um, so, uh, yeah, so we did get it. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Okay. Now, in here, what, <laughs> what is this? It says, Kong Connects, magnetized paws for fun. And it says, for all, use how it fits. It is a very cute superhero cat. And uh, as it says, it's got these two long front legs that have magnets in them. And so you can stick them onto things. Uh, and it's got this cute tail and the little legs with little uh, heart feet on it, I guess. Super adorable. <laughs> this is a great thing. You can just like throw it on your fridge and your cats can play with the fridge or uh, anywhere. That's, uh, that's fantastic. I think they're going to have a lot of fun with that. And it seems like it's a good toy. They're already looking at it. Is this table right in front of me magnetic? I know if it is, you won't be able to see, but... Ooh, ooh, it does stick there. Oh, man. I, um, I want to put it out right now since it's something we're going to have out. But I need to cut that. Um, let's see. We need to cut these little uh, zip ties. Is this going to do it? Is this, are these safety? Oh, look at that. The safety scissors do it. Great. Yeah. Good job. Okay. Look how cute that is. <laughs> He's got a cape on. That's just too adorable. All right, now. Oh, oh, wow. Look at that. I didn't even put him on there. I just threw him and he stuck. Uh, you can't see that. I know. Take a picture, though. These guys looking at it. And I'll put that right on the Discord before I forget. <laughs> well, he's on it now. All right. I think you can see a little bit from the ceiling camera, but probably not at a good angle to really see what's going on. Okay. Uh, oh, um, okay. Let's see, we have, oh, Serenity, you said you sent a Santa and a candy cane, and that's exactly what it is, Serenity, Santa, and candy cane. Here we have uh, the faculty, oh, I see, you sent a bell for custard, a bell for Elberry, Maggie, Eddie, Ari, and Teaspoon. Hmm, and it's addressed to the faculty from Sabrina. I see what you did there. <laughs> Well, these are so cute, though, and they fit perfectly in the Christmas room, so I think we should put them all out right now also. That's fantastic. Look at that. Those are pretty. Those are, these are fantastic Christmas cat toys, aren't they? A little noisy, but that's what you want. Okay. We have Jungle Tea. Oh, wow. So we've gotten tea bag sets before. I, I had an expectation of what this would look like, but this is not the set that I have seen in the past. We have jungle tea, and look, this one's got a, like a little um, uh, uh, leopard print. Is that what I'm going for there? I think it is. And I don't, I don't know what this is. I guess zebra, but it's a little fine for that maybe, or weird. Uh, anyway, they're very cool, and they, hmm, I'm, I'm definitely getting some smell of catnip out of that too. So hopefully the kitties are gonna, I mean, teaspoon specifically is going to like it. Uh, whoa, look at that. We put it right in there with a little orange um, ping pong. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Well, that's a nice bag, uh, but it doesn't have the little end on it, so I'm not going to be able to save it, am I? That's fine. It does. 
It's just a nice bag. I probably wouldn't save it anyway. Look at this. It's a little teaspoon on a little clip. I, this is, I think DJ is going to have to put this somewhere um, that she's going to carry with her. It looks just like him, too. That's so cute. Oh, okay, I'll put it in teaspoon stuff for now since we're probably going to bring that upstairs for him. Uh, so this is Cat Tunnel Toy. Oh, oh no, I recognize this. I don't have to open this right now, do I? Um, I think... Actually, I don't think we have one of these anymore. I think it ended up going with one of the adopters, didn't it? So that'll be fun. It is a cat tunnel that is a log, as you can see here in the picture. And it, it's got a branch that sticks out, actually. So in a, in a way, it's almost like a, a three-arm uh, uh, cat tunnel um, that looks like a tree. And it's also got little leaves that stick out of it, too. And it's got like a real um, real log like pattern to it, too. Uh, it's very cool, and it'll go great in like the jungle room or forest room or, or whichever one. So thank you for sending this as well. I'm just going to set it over there for the moment. And then these have to get to the right people. And then this uh, I can put right back there. All right. Uh, Madam Amy, thank you so much. And it was great to see you in person, by the way. Okay. Next up... This is, well, I don't know, but it's got the lithium battery label on it, so I'm guessing it's going to be a toy. Let's see. Oh, oh, it's more P16s. Wow, wait a minute. How many of these do we have now? That's a lot of P16s. Also, not a note on this one, but at this point, I'm starting to feel like we have to blame somebody other than Lisa for kittens. Uh, for our quantity, of, did, or did she, was it? I, look, who knows? Um, somebody, thank you so much. These are really bad toys. They're going to love them for the endowments. Um, I think the one we've got, I'm, again, i got to check it out. I, I'm sure I can get it going, so I probably won't need to take any of these for the Academy. Um, but, uh, yeah, fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, I hate, I hate seeing things go to go to waste. Like, you know, if we were to keep one around for us and then it just sits there forever. Um, I don't I don't like that. I don't like the stuff that we have in the basement. Like, I'm like, this stuff should go to be used now rather than to be saved until it's got a right use here. You know what I mean? So I'm always thinking about that and always making efforts to get uh, things used. You know, to, uh, I mean, to have... Whatever. You guys know what I'm trying to say. Forget about it, all right? Uh, these are fantastic. It was my point, and people are going to love them, and they're too fantastic for me to keep any. That's what I meant to say. There we go. Okay. Um, did I miss something? Oh, well, I didn't miss anything on the outside, but I already know what's up, because I reached in here, and I touched it, and I can feel bowls. So, Clint. Uh, Clint, I'm sure this is Clint. Is there a note, or did it get lost in the shipping, though? This box is really beat up, as you can see, but um, it's good that I know who always sends these metal bowls, so it doesn't matter if the notes fell out. Um, this has got to be from Clint in NH, and it's got to be for these kittens that are getting adopted, and uh, Clint's been sending these fantastic uh, steel bowls for every kitten that has graduated Kitten Academy pretty much the entire time we've been doing it now. Um, without fail. So, Clint, that's, uh, I can't, I don't think I've been that, like, steady and committed about anything in my life, uh, except maybe DJ. Um, I did, I have been with her longer than Kitten Academy, so I'm going to say DJ, but uh, otherwise, this is fantastic. I mean, just, uh, you're, uh, you've been doing this for such a long time, it's wonderful. And like I always say, uh, well, I mean, Thank goodness, this is what you, was the one that got damaged because these things didn't take any damage, just the box, of course, because these are invulnerable. You know, these things are going to last, um, well, the cat's going to have their whole life, you know. Um, you never have to buy a second one. I mean, you might buy a second one, but you're never going to lose the first one. <laughs> I guess that's what I mean. <laughs> Okay, so those are wonderful for the for the adopters and for the endowments. Thank you. Oh, oh, I had these pickles uh, for Till. Yes, I don't know if I showed them, but uh, they were sitting right here from Matt and Amy. Okay. All right, we'll put those in Till's room, I think. Uh, there we go. We can reach this, and then we got those three over there, and it is 1045. We had a lot of boxes. I guess we're moving pretty quick today. 
So this is international. Oh, and I don't think I completely covered up the address. Sorry if anybody happened to see it, but oh, and I see U.S. Customs. Wow, look at that. Customs had to open this one up and double check it. They left their little stamp here to let us know. Um, Nice of them not to open it through the top, but I guess they didn't want to damage the label. So, hey, let's go in like customs, all right? This is the way a government agent opens a box. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Okay, cool. Oh, these are fantastic. So nice. I hope customs saw them and was like, oh, those are so nice. So, uh, here we go. Blankets and toys. Uh, the note's probably at the top of the box, isn't it? I hope. Let's start with that. The Note can read on stream. Thank you so much for that. Good morning, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, faculty, and KA fans. Here are some carrier blankets and toys for Till and the Petty Cash. Hope everyone has a great day. Lord and Lady Cuthbertson, Merlin, and Destiny. Uh, those are great names. I don't, I don't know if I don't know how to pronounce Cut, Cuthbert, Cuthbertson. I'm sure it's a name I've heard a million times in my life. I, I'm aware of it as a common name, and somehow I can't hear it in my head. So I have uh, no idea. But thank you so much for these. These are awesome. Uh, this is Quid, uh, as we saw. Quid's got these beautiful owls, night owls. It's nighttime. There's moons. There's a little birdhouse, a fence, and then owls. And on the other side, it's white. This, the, the little um, edge that you did on this with the, the turned in seams, uh, those are fantastic. And I love this is just sort of like that. It's not like a straight zigzag. It's got a little bit of a, a freehand to it. It's very cool. And then this bright mouse and a foam ball. That's, that's all perfect for quid. Now we've got uh, the same kind of stuff for each kitten. We have a pink mouse, orange ball, red, and oh, the moon, uh, the moons. It's just all moons and stars. And oh, um, treble clef? Interesting. Um, no, bass clef. Wait, I, I'm not a musician. Now everybody's laughing at me because I don't know one from the other anymore. Uh, so at least I got that going for me. <laughs> oh, oh, look at that. I'm apparently getting some kind of a note. Oh, I think it maybe it's Renau who had sent the P16s. Um, I don't know, because I can't see the whole thing on my watch. But uh, that's what we're going to say now. Renau, thank you so much. Okay, uh, Farthings is uh, red here. And on the back it says, oh, it says, Sweet Lullaby, Good Night with Moons. And uh, wait, the same. No, not the same. That's so weird. I really thought I was freaking out for a minute because it's all the same stuff. Um, but different. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. I seem to remember at the fabric store, sometimes we would get, uh, you know, like a set of uh, quilting fabrics that, that were like all in a theme. So that's kind of got to be it, right? That, that's a thing. Uh, okay. Ledger gets polka dots on the inside and dragons on the outside. Whoa. All right. He is a legend. I've been calling him legend like the whole time. That's perfect. And then Tills is this brilliant purple. And then we've got, oh, sheep and numbers on the back for counting sheep as you fall asleep. So there's a real sleepy time theme here, uh, plus dragons. <laughs> I love it. Ledger's the odd man out there. Okay, our little legend. I'm going to put these in here. And I'm just going to set them to the side for the moment, and uh, we'll sort all that out afterwards. So thank you so much. Those blankets are beautiful. Just really fantastic. Um, okay. i got to get the rest of these things over here. Ah. Okay. Well, we all know what this one is, don't we? We might as well start with that, because uh, you see this and you're like, all right, that's uh, Noodle Sticks from Janice C. And another just super regular um, as far as taking care of these kittens. It's fantastic. You must have quite a Noodle Stick workshop, uh, Janice. 
Thank you so much for this. I, by the way, uh, have a noodle stick, you know, uh, that we keep by the bed, and I've played with these guys, and they are nuts for it. They all love it. So I know they are going to love their endowment noodle sticks. If I can get them open. Okay. Ah, yeah, you know the drill. <laughs> it just says you know the drill on the card. Okay, hang on though. <laughs> That's fantastic. You know the drill. <laughs> okay. What do you think, buddy? Are you a legend? Boy, I gotta start getting a collar on you. You gotta be quid. Oh, it says you are too fabulous for words, and it has a cat that is uh, too fabulous for words on it. That's super cute. So I guess I'll have to talk about me. Oh, that's a good line. I like that. Okay. Today, I was surprised and delighted to see you wore the little black kitten Mew back view pin set I sent to you back in 2018. I hope you enjoyed wearing them. Oh my God, that was you. I, I was wondering who had sent them. I've actually, so full confession, I've been wondering who sent those for a while because I can't remember, you know, this kind of stuff too well. But... I have loved it so much from the minute I saw it. I thought it was funny, and I couldn't wait to... to I, I, no, that's a lie. I did wait. Uh, but I, I was so anticipating uh, getting a chance to wear it that I had it out in front of me in my closet the entire time, almost. Um, uh, it's, I'd certainly been out the, since we moved here. So I look at it all the time. I'm like, i got to wear that for something, and uh, somehow... The time was right. So, uh, yeah, I definitely enjoyed wearing them. I'd like to wear them more often. I was sad that nobody commented on them because I was just waiting for a chance to, like, I had the, the back, you know, on the back, and I was just waiting for, uh, it's all right, though. I'll have to try again. Enclosed, per usual, the endowment noodle sticks for the Petty Cash class. Thank you once again for being wonderful people, Janice C. All right, so let's take a look at the colors for each of the kittens. Thank you for solving the pin mystery. Oh my goodness, now I know. And I won't forget that because uh, in 2018, um, I probably kind of knew who you were, but since then, obviously there's a place in my brain that is uh, Janice C. So I think that is something I will very easily remember now. So uh, Doubloons gets this, um, it's really pinkish. It's more like a, a neon pink. I don't know what it comes on as the, the screen as. Uh, we have this gorgeous teal for till. I like how you put those together. Quid gets this navy blue. Uh, Farthing gets the yellow. And Ledger gets the uh, green. I think those match the collar colors. Um, in fact, I, I guess till's kind of matches the collar color too, because her till's collar is teal, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's got the little the little dangly flower part. Yes, it is. She's right there. So, all right. What I was—I already told them you like noodle sticks. I already told them. No, I already told them. <laughs> you too, huh? All right. The only one we're missing is Ledger, but Ledger's always the odd man out. Now, who was that? You don't need to do that. Drizzle's always the hisser. All right. Okay, I'm gonna put these away. You kids, it's not time yet. You have to wait. Oh, Till. Okay. Okay, Till. Okay. Hey, Till. Oh, hang on. All right, put those where the kittens aren't going to immediately get to them. Oh, there he is. He's in that box. There's Ledger. You see him now? I don't know. Maybe you saw him the whole time. I didn't. Okay. Set that right like. Oh, oh, wait a minute. That's the one with the address. I'm putting it right in front and center. Let's not do that. At least we'll put it over there. Okay. Hi. Hi, buddy. Hi, hi, hi. What do you want? Huh? What, what? What? Oh, I know. I know you want me to quit doing that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, what's this? What is this one? Oh, oh, that's a good one. Okay. Oh, oh, there it goes. Oh, right there. Oh, you missed it. It went over there. Wait, it went over here. Oh, those are two different mice now. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Um, what next here? Oh, M. Hobbit. All right, M. Hobbit. Ah. I love seeing familiar names, and I love seeing new names. Uh, 
Very nicely packed. All right. Ooh, whoa, what is this all about? It says, to read aloud with a drama. All right, I'll do my best. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Wellies and Squally getting adopted. Quick break seal and open wrapper contains emergency supplies to treat separation anxiety. Oh, dosage as needed. Thanks for letting us share all you do to raise such sweet kittens. M. Hobbit. Thank you. And uh, I see you've also illustrated your note. Uh, the oh no comes with a drawing of the scream. And oh yes comes with a little uh, squall and welly sitting facing each other with smiles and fireworks. So that's fantastic, M. Hobbit. And uh, what you have sent is Wegman's Dark Chocolate with White Peppermint. Ooh, wow, that sounds good. Um, peppermint and chocolate. Another, you know, everything's good with chocolate, but peppermint and chocolate, that's another good one. Ooh, boy, thank you so much, everybody, for sending me uh, Christmas food. <laughs> There's a lot of that today, isn't there? That's unusual. And it needs to stay unusual, okay? Let's try that. Here, I started out mailbag today talking about how for the first time in forever, I started working out again. <sighs> that synchronicity, that's some kind of synchronicity, isn't it? Okay. Thank you very, very much, though. I mean, seriously, I'm, I'm excited about that. What is this? Oh, man. All right, so more P16s, and I'm going to say Renau again, or Lisa, or let's see, is there a note this time? Oh, nope. This is for the petty cash from R. So I think we did get it this time. That's got to be the R for Renau, right? So thank you very much for two more, even. That is. Uh, so now that's six, seven, eight. That does cover uh, all of the kittens for certain, and Serenity or Till. Probably Till in that case, right? Uh, and then some, so that's fantastic. I keep saying fantastic. We got to get another word in here. At least I lost fancy for a while. Wow, they're both F words. Maybe I should find another F word to describe everything. Anything come to mind for you guys? Uh, let's see here. Oh, for the Tabby Sisters and Squall and Welly. Also from ours. Two more. Wow, that is a lot of P16s. The, whoever makes and sells these things is like, what happened? We went viral. And it's all just like one person, really, uh, in a sense, because they're all coming here. I know a lot of you bought them for your own cats, too, and they are fantastic. But uh, that's, that's great. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, I don't think I missed anything. We're going to start picking this stuff up. And if it turns out I missed a box... Um, we'll grab it and open it, but I think that was mailbag, everybody. Wow. Um, I know I was moving a little fast. It's 11 o'clock. You know, I, that workout really got me started. I was saying to DJ before, uh, when I got up, I'm like, I feel absolutely miserable today. I didn't get enough sleep, really. Um, and Because uh, I woke up early, and then I just couldn't get back to sleep. Uh, but I said, all right, I got to go work out. And if that doesn't fix it... Um, well, I'm just going to feel bad all day. But it did. Uh, it's just, man. It's good. Okie dokie. Oh, oh man, they're fighting in the present there in the box. Look at that. Whew. Why does this sound jingly? I feel, oh, it's the zipper. Okay. That's fine. Didn't miss a toy. How do we get all this downstairs? Okay. This has got to go downstairs. These don't go downstairs. All right. This doesn't go downstairs. I think it goes up. Uh, there we go. Serenity and Till don't go upstairs. But where do they go? I'm going to put them right here. Oh, uh, uh. Okay. You know, 
Uh, I'm looking at those pickles. I don't know how long that pickle thing was a Christmas tradition. I know I've said before that it's new to me since Kitten Academy. That's that's where I learned about it. It's from all of you. Um, and I don't I don't know exactly how long it's been around. Is it is it younger than me? Or has it always been around? And I just my, just wasn't something my family knew about uh, the Christmas pickle thing. Or I uh, honestly don't know. I should Google that. I should find out how long has that been a thing for. That and the elf on a shelf, obviously, that's brand new, but uh, all these new Christmas traditions, it's cool. Why did I do that? I just took that over here and then I took it back. I don't want to do that. Okay. All right. I'm going to head downstairs with these. I'm going to turn off the mic first in case I bang it with these boxes, which seems likely. So. Stuff away. I'll be right back. Oh, boy. All right, I gave DJ a little teaspoon. She thought it was adorable. Well, um, oh, one more. Hang on.
right, that was mailbag. Hey, thanks everybody so much. That was wonderful. And I know these kittens are so well cared for that uh, their their adopters are probably never going to have to buy anything for their cats ever. They'll just get it all right up front and parcel it out for the next 20 years. That's how many uh, endowments you all set for them. So it's wonderful. What did you say? Did you hear that? Did you talk to me for nothing? This is Raindrop, and uh, I'm going to miss her. She's been my constant little right-hand kitten uh, for quite a while now. She's crazy about me, too. I know. I know. She's very good about it, too. She, she doesn't complain like some cats that just yell if they can't see you, Welly and Squall. All right. Well, uh, I'm in the archive here. Thanks again. We'll see you guys next week. You know. For mailbag, I mean. <laughs>